What's going on guys? Clutch here once again. Welcome back to the channel. We're doing our final mod look for the week for Farming Sim 19. Uh, pretty uh, slow end of the week, I should say. Not a lot going on, but there's a few things we should take a quick look at. And uh, we'll discuss them all. Alright, let's dive into this guy's Pitter Patter. Alright guys, so let's start off by talking about Mercury Farms. An update in the Mod Hub was released today for Mercury Farms. Uh, it's just a simple update. However, note that if you have your current game save as new farm manager or farm manager, I should say, that you will need to delete that game save. It won't let you in. And uh, yeah, it needs to be updated, unfortunately. So you, you'll lose that playthrough or what you've done. But uh, the new playthrough should be all good to go. All accounts say that everything is good there. Anyways, so there's a new update for Mer Mercury Farms. Make sure you go grab that. All right, so let's start over here. We're going to talk about a couple of things. We've got two cultivators as you can see um this is really the bulk of the mods guys that came out today uh not a lot not a lot not a lot <laughs> uh we got the cokerling uh cultivator i guess the trio um it's a smaller size cultivator and then this one here is for pc the sapphire uh, i believe this is a 12 meter off the top of my head we'll go take a look at both of these in the store um, the both with both of these uh, these cultivators, you're looking between what is it, 130 horsepower, 110 to 130, I think, with the uh, the coral curling and the sapphires up to 140 horsepower, somewhere in that range. Funny thing is, the sapphire is bigger, but it's cheaper, which is odd. So let's go over to the store and take a quick look. So you're gonna find both of these obviously in cultivators. I know, shocker. Uh, where is she? There we are. And we'll scroll over to our mods. There we go. The Crokerling, $18,000, requires 130 horsepower, uh, and it's 3 meters. There we go. Uh, there's no adjustments made, so you get what you get, and that's all there is to be said about that. Uh, as for the Sapphire, $13,900, which is funny that it's $5,000 cheaper. Uh, 140 horsepower, like I said, and 6 meter. I was wrong on that. I thought it was 12. But it's a 6 meter swath on this, or 6 meter uh, size once again. No difference in size. You are, are no changes to be made to the uh, the apparatus or the implement itself. You get what you get there as well. So uh, it does look good when you unfold it, mind you. Take a quick look at that. There we go. Oh, and I wrecked on my other tractor. That's all right though. Now both of these were available for FS17, I believe. But uh, now we're getting them for 15, but unfortunately the Sapphire is only for PC guys at this time. Who knows, maybe eventually it'll come to both. Alright, so the only other the only other uh, mod that we received this week, or the on Friday I should say, was this racking system. Now it's just a simple rack, there's not much to it. You're going to find that in your decoration section. Uh, once you scroll through all your trees that you've downloaded now probably, like me. Holy, look at all the stuff we got. There we go, your high level rack. It's going to be 1500 bucks. There's not much to talk about when it comes to it, I suppose. Um, like I said, you can use all three levels of it. I've got some pig food and some lime down below. Down below is all right. This middle rack, yeah, you got to be pretty precise. Um, and I'm stacking them kind of sideways, so you can actually probably fit three three of these, uh, these food bags side by side by each if you wanted to. Up top, obviously, uh, you wouldn't be able to fit more than two of those larger bins. But anyways, let's see if I can jump up on top of this thing here. Get up there. There we go. Not bad. It's an interesting uh, little simple rack system. I'm still hoping for a mod hub header rack of some sort. We do have one for PC, but uh, nothing in the mod hub yet for header racks for PC. Anyways, guys, that's really all we've gotten for the mods. Really quiet end of the week here for us. But uh, I did want to talk about one more thing. Maybe just put a smile on your face. Uh, as long as you're on PC, I apologize, console players. But I do have one more PC mod I want to look at. You probably saw it already. Oh, yeah. Now, you guys may have seen this. May or may not have. Uh, this is an interesting tractor, to say the least. Now, it was set up uh, about a week and a half ago, I think it was, it was the original version that came out. This is an updated version. You guys may notice that it looks a little bit bigger than uh, the previous one. At least the hopper here does, the, uh, the container. But there's more than just that, and we'll talk a bit more about that in a second, but there was a couple of things that were missing on the original version. Um, most prominently for me was the lighting. The lights didn't work whatsoever from brake lights to your driving lights to your turn indicators. None of that stuff worked. Now all that stuff works just fine. Uh, you've got lights all around. You've got beacons even up on the top, which is great. It looks fantastic. Also, uh, when you jumped inside, 
your cab would not work at all. There was nothing that worked in the old cab. Now everything works in this cab. This looks good. You got speedo, you got RPM gauge, you've got a little display even here on the right. Everything now works inside the cab, which is cool. Now let's take a look at the lights actually while we're there. There we go, you got your lights, you got your beacons. Looks pretty good. Everything works the way it's supposed to now. And I love it, it looks cool. Um, now the big thing with the, uh, the, with the update, really has nothing to do with that. I mean, that's all good to have. Um, I think the tires are less shiny as well. There was something about that as well, but that wasn't really a big concern to me. I do love how this thing looks though. But uh, the big thing, the big update with this is the containers that are on the back. And I say containers, that wasn't that wasn't a slip of the lip or anything there. That wasn't on purpose. Now this one here, as you can see, it's a bit bigger than the normal one. But you know what? Maybe I don't want that. Well, maybe we should get rid of it. What? What the? What the what? Yes, yes, yes. Look at this. All right. We are done with the fertilizer container. What else do we have that we can use with this? Oh, well, look at this. We've got all our implements lined up back here. I don't know, did you guys notice them before? I don't know if you did or not, maybe you did. Um, here, let me just jump out quickly. We'll discuss each one. Actually, you know what, we'll back in. So on the little right hand side there, you can see that's the small original fertilizer bin that we had that would have came with it originally. Um, that's the upgraded one. So there's two different upgrade levels plus a tarp you can put on top of it. So you can see the difference there. This here is a liquid fertilizer sprayer. Boom. All you do back up and you're good to go. And then look at the beacons. You got beacons on the back even of this thing. That's so cool. Uh, lights should all work, I believe. Yeah, we got lights that work everywhere around. And you've got a massive fertilizer spreader. I think it's 36 meters, I believe, off the top of my head. Oh, we need to fire that up, I guess, in order this to work. There we go. Everything works the way you'd expect it to. We got that pulled up and down. Perfect. Pull this back up. All right, and then look at the way the lights work. Isn't that cool? All right, let's move on to the last implement here. We have last of all the slurry sprayer uh, and tank. So this is two different implements. It's hooked up together right now as one. But you can see we've got. Uh, let me see if I can select that. Bring this up. Oh, I can't see it, sorry. We can drop this off, oops. Drop, there we go. And just have the tank. Or you can take the uh, the slurry spreader cultivator, uh, I don't even know what, to, the disc cultivator, I guess, technically. The cultivator sprayer fertilizer unit. <laughs> we'll take a look at these all in the store so I don't get the words all mixed up on it. But uh, it comes with a multiple unit, that's kinda cool. Then just to drop this off, you gotta lower it down. And lower that, nope, I don't want that to stay low. I want to select that there we go and that's it that's all there is to it <laughs> it's not so cool i love the way the lights work on this though they did a really good job with the lights look at that and we'll hook back up to our big fertilizer spreader here i also noticed it's got a hitch on the back i'm trying to think of some good ways of using that hitch with along with uh some of the implements here we'll have to figure some things out but it's a nice little nice to have that's for sure anyways uh let's go take a look at uh, in store what we got here so let's start with the interrogator itself in the store. Uh, you go to crop protection, that's where you're going to find it. And then right down at the end, interrogator 6203, you're looking at well, how many horsepower? 337 horsepower, 72 grand base. That's actually uh, not bad if you consider that. Now that doesn't come with any implements whatsoever, you just get the tractor. So it's, maybe it's a bit expensive for a tow vehicle, but uh, like with the big brute is 195. So it's half the price of that, that's not bad. Uh, let's see here. Let's take a look at uh, the implements. So the first implement we want to talk about is the fertilizer spreader, of course, obviously in fertilizer technology. And you're going to find that down at the end, uh, your fertilizer spreader, which is 25,000 bucks to purchase. Now, like I said, this one does come with a couple options. You can uh, go with a small, which is an extra 2,000, or you can go with, an, with a big, which is five. So it all depends on what you want. Um, you're going to get an extra, you can get an almost yeah, over 10,000 liters, 12,000 liters if you go up to the big one, which is quite a bit actually. And then as well, you can go with the cover, which is another additional 750 bucks. That can go on just the uh, small and the big though. So it doesn't go on the base. Anyways, so that there is the, uh, the spreader. Now, if we want to look over at the crop protection, so your liquid sprayer, you're going to find that here. And it is uh, $55,000, actually pretty expensive. No options on this but it is a nice little sprayer, nice option to have for it, that's for sure. 
your total wingspan on this is 36.6 meters and an 8,000 liter tank in there. Not bad, all right. And last of all, we're gonna look over at our slurry tanks. Quite a few of these already, but there we go. So it is a 25,000 liter tank itself. There you go, 30 grand base price. And the uh, the Zoom Disc slurry uh, fertilizing unit, the head for it, another eight thousand dollars. Yeah, looks good. Looks good. All right. Anyways, guys, that's really going to do it for us today. We've taken a look at the Terrigator now. We've seen the new mods that were in the mod hub. I'll make sure I leave the link for this new Terrigator in the description below. Let's go zoom out in the field here. Oh, I don't have any fertilizer. I was hoping to fire it up. Oh well. But uh, yeah, guys, if you'd like to download this, go check out the link. Of course, if you enjoyed the video, guys, make sure you leave a big old thumbs up to keep the YouTube bots happy. And of course, if you didn't like the video, well, you can hit the old thumbs down too. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, guys, do not forget to subscribe. And we will see you guys next time. This is Clutch. Over and out.